The unofficial last day of summer and many people have been out enjoying the warmer weather and last chance to hit the pool for the season. Five News reporter Ian Taylor spent the afternoon at Parrot Island in Fort Smith to catch all the rays and waves. The first day of fall is still 17 days away, but Monday marked the unofficial end of summer. No, I'm sad. <laughs> For Noah Chan and his family, the Labor Day holiday meant one more chance to enjoy Parrot Island Water Park in Fort Smith even if it meant spending a little extra time in the car to get there. We've been here quite a bit actually. Uh, we're from Kansas City and so we drive four hours uh, each way. And I say this summer, I'd have to say probably about every other weekend since Memorial Weekend. Chan and his family are one of many that enjoyed the last day of the park season, catching waves and playing in the water. They weren't the only ones. Today or all summer long, Miles Epperson with the water park says this summer was one of their largest ever with nearly 100,000 customers all enjoying the relief from the heat. We had a big comeback last year. I'm um, a really busy season, um, but even this year it's been, um, we're back um, busier than even pre-COVID. So we're really, you know, we're back to normal. Um, had a, welcomed in a lot of people this year. It's been a great summer. All summer long, wallets and bank accounts have taken a hit with high gas prices and inflation. Rudy resident Cole Nevin said this was a little bit of a factor for his family's travel plans this summer, but having the water park within half an hour made all the difference. We were able to come if we're shopping down the street or something and hey, let's go over there for an hour and hit a few rides and take the lazy river or whatever. You know what I mean? It just makes it a lot more doable for sure. With plenty to do and easy access to the park, there's only one thing that guests would change. I just wish they would stay open like another month. I wish summer was um, longer, like a lot longer. With the end of the summer season quickly approaching and a four hour trip back home, Noah Chan is counting down the next 266 days until the unofficial kickoff to summer 2023. Bum is an understatement, but it is what it is. We'll go back to work and wait till next season to open back up again. In Fort Smith, covering news where you live, Ian Taylor, 5 News. Yeah, that dude was showing off, wasn't he? Yeah, he looked great, though. Despite local pools and water parks closing for the season, many area splash pads will continue to remain open at least for another couple of weeks. We have a detailed list on our website at 5newsonline.com. Well,